Since 2012, the Syracuse-Duke rivalry has been just a bit one-sided. The Orange has lost four of the last five matchups with the Blue Devils, including the 2013 national title game. But the team says those struggles are not about what they have done wrong, but about what Duke's done right. They're a great team. Um, they're always prepared for us. They get a lot of time to pre prepare for us. Um, and they, they just had a lot of talent. I think they're just a talented team, well coached. Uh, I can't think of the last time Duke's had a bad recruiting year. So we know they're always going to reload and just have to be ready for this game. And they've had some good success against us, and, and we want to start to you know turn the slate back our way. That turn just might have come last season when Syracuse upset Duke in the final seconds of the ACC tournament semifinals. It was big, um, especially after our, the 21-7 uh, loss in, during the regular season. Hope to build on that again this year, kind of look at the things we did well in that game versus our first game um, and, and do that again. That felt great, um, being the first time that we've beaten Duke since I've been here. Um, so, you know, we, we don't want that to be the only time, you know, so hopefully we can prepare this week and, uh, you know, come out on top this weekend. The Orange insists they're over their 2013 national title loss to the Blue Devils, but they do think one championship is missing from their trophy case. It's in the back of your mind, but it's it's always there because you know you see the guys on their team, especially the ones that are still there that you played against, and you know that they have a piece of jewelry that you want it. Beating Duke on Sunday may not make up for their lack of jewelry, but a win could put SU on the path to some silverware of their own. They would keep sole possession of the top spot in the ACC, and both national polls. Marcus White, Citrus TV.